Hello, we are the Autonomous Drone for Air, Water, and Soil Sampling Team. Here is our full poster, and we will go into detail on it on our subsequent slides. After the presentation, our full poster will be shown again. Currently, when taking water, air, and soil samples, someone must physically go to the location to take the sample. Depending on the project, samples need to be taken multiple times a day or at a certain frequency. Our solution to this problem is to create a mechanism attachable to a drone body, which can gather soil, air, and water samples without contamination and be remotely triggered. This would eliminate much of the travel and time required to take samples in cases such as sampling water from a high mountain lake. It could also enable sampling in cases where it's unsafe for a human to do so, such as in chemical accidents or military application. Potential users for a senior design project include those interested in environmental monitoring, disaster response, emergency response, researchers, air quality scientists, and humanitarian efforts. The first sampling mechanism we'll dive into here is the soil sampler. This is a soil probe which is thrust into the soil via a pneumatic piston. It then gathers the sample and retains it via friction upon which a spring pulls the sample out of the ground. In the upper left picture, you can see the soil sampler's implementation relative to the rest of the sampling mechanism. In the lower left picture, you can see a pneumatic diagram that explains the operating principle of this sampler. A 16 gram CO2 cartridge releases compressed CO2 through a electronically actuated solenoid valve, which then actuates the pneumatic piston, again, thrusting the soil sampler into the ground. You can see that the base plate has been designed to accommodate the sampler and topology optimization was performed to ensure that it could withstand the forces of the soil probe impacting the ground. Here we'll see a video of the soil sampler in action. Note that in this video, the soil sampler was not remotely triggered as the electronics had not been implemented at this point in the project. Since then, our solenoid valve actually broke, so this is just a video demonstrating that it does in fact work as designed. All right, so another main aspect of this project was to be able to sample water. So it was determined that this is best done by landing the drone on the surface of the water and using a flotation assembly and directly pumping the water into a sampling container. So looking at the water sampling mechanism itself, a 62 gram, 100 kilopascal miniature pump was used as shown in the presentation. This pump was used to transport water up to the sampling container to the top of the lid. The lid is directly um, attached to the sampling base plate. So a sampling container could easily be removed as you can see in the expanded picture. Um, the mechanism can sample at a rate of six grams per second, which is much faster than the target sample rate of 0 0.5 grams per second. So looking at the flotation assembly itself, it consists of four cylindrical foam pieces with diameters of two and five eighths of an inch joined as a rectangular platform using internal L-shaped dowels. This is shown on the slide right there on the bottom left. Um, the dowels are then connected um, to the base plate using lightweight carbon fiber rods which can, can hold the weight of the drone. Um, the flotation assembly functions as a stable platform for both water and soil sampling, and it can support up to 5.3 kilograms on water, which is much greater than the target goal of three kilograms. So if you look at the flotation video on the right, you can see demonstration of the platform performing on some moderately agitated water. This this platform also provides a stable platform for the soil sampling, as I previously mentioned. Right here in this video, you can see uh, live action sam water sampling happening. So you can see the pumping is occurring right now. And the container is unscrewed from the lid and a sample is obtained. All 
Unlike the water sampler, the air sampler can be activated at any time, mid-flight or while landed. The air sampler uses the same 62 gram, 100 kilopascal micro pump as the water sampler. The pump draws air in from the surroundings and pushes it through soft PVC tubing with a check valve to prevent leaking, and then into a Tedlar sampling bag to contain the sample until it is returned to the lab. Tedlar bags are industry standard sampling grab bags used for sampling gases and vapors. The resulting setup is able to take a 0.5 liter air sample in 11.4 seconds, much faster than our initial goal of one minute. We performed a leak test and found that it takes approximately six hours for the Tedlar bag to leak any significant amount of air, which is more than sufficient time for the sample to be brought back to a lab. The total air sampling mechanism weighs in at 80 grams, 20% less than our target weight of 100 grams. One of our design constraints was to have the sampling mechanism be completely independent from the drone. This required us to build our own electronics package. The package consisted of an Arduino Nano, a 12 volt battery, a five volt regulator, and three dual MOSFET transistors. The battery powers the Nano, the pumps, and the solenoid valve. The transistors act as an electrical switch connected to the Arduino to allow us to control the pumps and the solenoid valve. We can take a closer look at the wiring diagram to see how the electronics are connected more clearly. In conclusion, our design objectives have been met in that our mechanism remotely sample air, water, and soil. The mechanism is quasi-universal, being that the base plate can attach to most drones with Velcro. Our mechanism draws negligible power over the short amount of time required for each sample. Given more time, we would intend to further optimize the mechanism's weight by implementing modifications, including but not limited to fabrication of a carbon fiber base plate lighter air and water pumps. We would also look into implementing a different solenoid valve less prone to sticking so that the mechanism is more stable upon soil sampling. Here is a video of a mechanism attached to a drone in flight. And note that uh, the air sampler is active in this video to show that um, mechanism can be triggered remotely.